What is it about racing that you like the most? I like when you're friends in the garage, but enemies on the track. If you like racing too, then I bet you want to know about junior racer, Marlon Stockinger. Girls, let's watch this. <sighs> he has all the qualities of Cinderella's Prince Charming. The way he stares and his smile, ah, uh, mesmerizing. But more than his boy next door appeal, he is also dubbed as the Prince of Speed. He is Marlon Stockinger, a Swiss Filipino driver for the Status Grand Prix GP2 team. At a tender age of nine, Marlon already ignited his interest in go -karts. was through my father. We went go-karting one day in Carmona and Cavite. So it was here in the Philippines where I found my passion for racing. And again, like ever since that day, I just can't imagine myself not having to do anything with an engine or, or being on the racetrack. At a tender age of nine, Marlon already ignited his interest in go-karts. In 2006, his training paid off when he won the Asian Karting Open Championship. He was only 15 then, and as they say, the rest is history. From there, obviously I discovered that uh, racing was much bigger than just go-karting. There were different levels. It was more prominent in Europe, and I also realized there was Formula One. In 2010, he became the first Filipino to win a race in the Michelin Formula Renault UK Championship Series. So I've been competing, I think, a good part of more than a decade. And uh, yeah, that's been my life so far. Marlon made history again by becoming the first Filipino to win on the famed Monaco circuit for the GP3 Series in 2012. The fact that I've been able to win races in Europe, um, represent my, my country is really one of the biggest achievements in proving my worth as a Filipino or Asian driver. Last year, Marlon claimed podium finishes in two iconic racetracks, Monza and Nürburgring, for the Formula Renault 3.5 Series. For this year, Marlon is driving for Status Grand Prix's GP2 Series team. The GP2 Series is a feeder series for Formula One, which is considered the most prestigious racing series in the world. The end goal is Formula One. In the end, whether it's my name, Naman, or, or someone else's, I think as long as the flag beside the name is Filipino, that's a, that would be a great achievement. So hopefully I could inspire other young kids to come along. It seems like Marlon continues to run a progressive career in the racing world. But before he achieves his dream of becoming an F1 champion, Marlon showed full throttle his personal car. Basically, I have a big uh, 4x4 as you can see. Um, I like the size more because uh, I do a lot of sport. So sometimes to put in the gym and stuff or, or let's say my bike, it makes it a lot easier to get around. Uh, it's very basic. Uh, the colors are... As you can see, like brown, um, very tan colors. Um, nothing really personally customized. A really great car, I mean, all good. I don't need the key to turn anymore here. You can just brace, basically press this button to start, which is also a nice feature. And... Nice! Please, drive us around, Marlon. Here I have like a seat belt, but in a racing car you have almost four belts across your lap, over your shoulders, just to be really secured. Before our joyride with Marlon ends, here's a driving tip from the race car champ. Racing has taught me not to um, go fast on the roads. I think that's really important. I, simply because I know what it's like to, to crash. So if it were to be on, let's say, public roads, not only are you risking your own life, but you're endangering other people's lives because there might be someone else in another car that could get hurt, you know. So, for sure, I definitely don't uh, do stupid things on the road. Want to know more about Marlon Stockinger? Here are some facts for you. What was your first car? My first car was a Volkswagen Polo. 
What's your dream car? My dream car now, I mean, I always loved the, the Ferrari. I'd most probably like to have it in like a black. If you were a part of a car, what would you be and why? I'm definitely the engine. That's the heart of the car. And I think I have a lot of heart. And I think I have a lot of uh, drive to, to achieve things. Books and racing skills to die for. Good luck on your race and bring home the bacon, baby. Looks and racing skills? I got those too. And that's what you're about to see when full throttle returns.